Good afternoon, everyone. Well, we're done for the day. Ah, we're back in the bush. We're cutting again. Um, we need more logs. We're basically out. Those ones you see back there are... Uh, actually, you can't even see them. There we go. Those back there, that's all sugar maple. And can't... Too late to be cracking that open. It is going to be wet. Um, but... This video is the second part that I said from Paul Bunyan of some cool stuff that I thought would be good for uh, somebody's wood yard. Um, everybody's always looking for a way to block logs. All they want to do is block them and then feed them through their wood splitters. So, Yutsi, the company is called Yutsi. Uh, y U T S Y, I believe it's spelt. Um, they make a few uh, few attachments for skid steers for you know cutting off lifts of uh, timbers and stuff, it, cutting squaring up the ends. But they have come out with a set of basically it's pallet forks with a roller and saw on it. It's all electronic, electronic controlled. Um, they were just, I think they're still in the R&D stage there. Uh, they did bring it to the show. They were having some trouble. So please don't be critical of this and saying, oh, it's not working. Things, you know, they still got to fine tune it. Um, I think it will be, I think they're going, they are going in the right direction with it. Um, when you're in the cab looking down, what I noticed, you can't see that, but they do have a camera there so you can see. So it's all it's all run by sensors and stuff. It knows how far the log is going out. And to cut your blog, whatever, 16 or 12 or 18 or whatever you're cutting, it measures that. <clears throat> so it's a basically a CTL, cut to length. But you're doing it in block length. Um, you'll see when they stop, they're having... Uh, I forget what was happening, but it wasn't sensing properly. Like I said, don't be too critical of this, but I think they're going in the right direction and it will be valuable for uh, some of the wood yards out there. Um, did not get a price on it. I don't know if they have the other price I didn't ask, but I think it would be useful and this is why I'm sharing it. So here's this one. There's going to be two. So after you watch this one, there'll be another uh, quick one, which I thought was kind of cool, but um, check this one out. That thing won't reverse and slide it back? It do, It's supposed to just a little bit. It does that every time a little bit, but I don't know. It's not doing that. It didn't do that this time. All right, this is number two now. Um, this is a giant wood splitter uh, for doing big blocks. I didn't even 
look at uh, how many pieces it does. I don't know, 24 maybe. It is made by, I believe, Rayband, Rayband, Um They're from, I believe, France. Don't hold me to that. But basically, you'd block up, you know, 30-inch blocks, put them up, pick them up. They got a picker on it. You pick them up and place them in, and they split it. Um, the only thing I didn't like about this is the sound. You listen to that sound it's making. It's not so much the sound that bothers me. It's what's happening to make that sound. It didn't, and this is strictly my opinion, it didn't sound like there's enough relief in that splitting wedge when it's going through and you hear that creak, 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 creak pushing through. It's, yes, it's it's got to force it through, but it's not splitting how it wants to split. So it's still, that creaking is happening. Um, maybe they're all like that. I don't know. I've watched somebody else's video on it and I don't recall it making that noise. Could be the wood they're putting through it as well. It wasn't the best piece and uh, it was cut on a bit of an angle. The one, one piece that I watched putting in that you'll see in this video, but it is pretty cool nonetheless. And uh, if you're doing big blocks, hey, this, may be, uh, this piece may be for you. So check it out. Right, guys hope you all enjoyed that the yutsi um i call it uh cut to length uh block cutter sizer i i don't know what they actually called it i'll have to look that up um but i thought it was pretty neat and it's got big potential i believe if it's price right um they don't price themselves out of the market but I think it will be, uh, I think they're going in the right direction. The size of the block, I wasn't sure that it could cut too, but going by that bar, it looks like you can cut a pretty big block in there. Um, and the other splitter, I think is pretty good, that Ray Bond, Ray Band. It's pretty neat. Uh, if you're doing big stuff, you know, you can put a lot out, you know, you're doing 16. I don't know if you can double up a 16 inch block in there. I should have taken a better look, but um, also you see us kind of move there. Nutsu 319 was with me and we kind of move. I've heard that sound before and stuff come flying out. So like, it just sounds like it's binding a bit. That's my opinion. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I'm not knocking it. I'm just, you know, sometimes a, a wedge isn't perfect and th that can happen. It doesn't have, the, have enough relief in it. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching guys. Appreciate all of you. Remember, if you like this, hit the subscribe button. Remember, thumbs up and a comment below. Thanks guys.